What if everything we think we know about the universe's childhood is wrong? What if galaxies didn't slowly grow up after the first stars, but instead showed up early, bright, and already sophisticated? And what if the strangest discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope aren't just rewriting cosmic history, but hinting at something far bigger? Let's rewind. For decades, astronomers believed they understood how the early universe unfolded. After the Big Bang, the cosmos cooled, gravity slowly gathered gas, the first stars ignited, and only later did galaxies begin to take shape. It was a clean, orderly story, simple, predictable. By 2022, the furthest confirmed galaxy we'd ever seen was GNZ11, discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. With its 2.4-meter mirror, Hubble had pushed humanity's vision billions of years into the past. But even Hubble had limits. The earliest galaxies were simply too faint, their light stretched deep into infrared wavelengths that Hubble couldn't fully see. Then, James Webb turned on. With its massive 6.5-meter mirror and infrared vision designed specifically for ancient light, Webb didn't just extend our view of the universe, it shattered expectations almost immediately. One of its early record breakers was a galaxy known as GSZ14-0, sometimes called Jade's Z14-0, detected at a redshift of 14.32. Redshift, essentially, is the universe's timestamp. The higher it is, the earlier in cosmic history that light was emitted. That alone was astonishing, but Webb wasn't done. Soon after, astronomers identified another galaxy, Mom Z14, with a redshift of 14.44. That means we're seeing it as it existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These aren't just distant objects, they're relics from the universe's infancy. We're looking at cosmic baby photos. And this is where things get weird. Mom Z14 is incredibly small, only about 500 light years across. To put that in perspective, the Milky Way stretches more than 100,000 light years wide. Mom Z14 should be a faint, primitive smudge of hydrogen and helium. Instead, it's bright, uncomfortably bright. Galaxies that shine this intensely are usually powered by enormous star-forming engines or supermassive black holes at their centers. Those black holes act like regulators, shaping how fast stars form and how galaxies evolve. But Mom Z14 doesn't appear to have one. No central monster, no cosmic traffic controller, just a tiny galaxy somehow producing an enormous amount of light all on its own. Then came the real shock. Webb's spectral analysis revealed that Mom Z14 is rich in nitrogen. And nitrogen isn't a beginner element. It doesn't come from the Big Bang. It's forged inside stars, released when they live, die, and explode. Finding nitrogen means not just star formation, but multiple generations of stars, birth, death, recycling, chemical evolution, all happening astonishingly early. According to standard cosmology, galaxies from this era should be chemically simple, bare bones, mostly hydrogen and helium with almost no heavy elements. Mom Z14 completely breaks that rule. Its light carries the fingerprints of a long, complex history that shouldn't exist yet. This implies something staggering. Stars must have formed, evolved, and died even earlier than we thought, enriching their environment before galaxies like Mom Z14 fully assembled. In other words, the universe was already busy recycling matter while we thought it was still figuring out how to turn the lights on. And Mom Z14 isn't alone. As Webb's deep surveys continue, astronomers are finding more compact, intensely red objects scattered across the early universe. Some researchers half-jokingly call them little red dots. Before Webb, galaxies like this were expected to be exceedingly rare, cosmic unicorns. Now they're showing up again and again. Mom Z14 may hold the current record, but it likely won't for long. Every new observation chips away at long-standing assumptions. The early universe, once thought to be slow, sparse, and simple, 
now looks crowded, energetic, and surprisingly mature. So what does this mean? It doesn't necessarily mean all of cosmology is wrong, but it does mean our models are incomplete. Something about how matter collapsed, how stars ignited, or how fast structures formed is missing from the puzzle. Mom Z14 isn't just an anomaly, it's a clue. And the timing couldn't be more interesting. Later this decade, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will join the search. While Webb excels at deep, detailed observations, Roman will scan vast regions of the sky with incredible sharpness. Together, these telescopes could uncover hundreds or even thousands of galaxies from the universe's first few hundred million years, each one a time capsule, each one another test of our understanding. But the surprises don't stop with early galaxies. Recently, some researchers noticed something deeply unsettling. An unexpectedly large number of galaxies appear to rotate in the same direction. In a random universe, rotations should be evenly split, half clockwise, half counterclockwise. But that's not what the data seem to show. At first glance, this might sound like a statistical fluke or a measurement error. But if it holds up, it suggests something profound, a preferred direction, a cosmic alignment. And that's where things get… uncomfortable. Because one of the bold ideas gaining renewed attention is the possibility that our entire universe exists inside a black hole. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a real theoretical framework, often linked to ideas in black hole cosmology and sometimes associated with Schwarzschild-based models. The basic idea is this. The Big Bang may not have been an explosion in empty space. Instead, it could have been the interior of a black hole forming in a much larger parent universe. Think about it. Both black holes and the Big Bang involve singularities, regions of extreme density where known physics breaks down. What if a collapsing star in another universe didn't end in a singular point, but rebounded? What if that rebound created space, time, and expansion, our universe? In this view, black holes aren't dead ends, they're wombs. Every black hole in our universe, stellar mass or supermassive, could in principle give rise to a new universe on the other side of its event horizon. Universes nested within universes, like cosmic Russian dolls. Wild, absolutely, but the idea has intriguing consequences. It could help explain why the constants of nature seem so finely tuned. Gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, they all fall into narrow ranges that allow stars, galaxies, and life to exist. In a black hole birth scenario, only universes with stable physics would survive and reproduce. Over time, viable universes persist, unstable ones vanish. Cosmic natural selection. There's also the matter of information. Black holes contain immense entropy huge amounts of information compressed into small regions. Our universe also contains staggering informational complexity. Maybe that connection isn't accidental. Then there's torsion from extensions of general relativity like Einstein-Carton theory. In these models, space-time doesn't just curve, it twists, influenced by the intrinsic spin of particles. At extreme densities, this torsion could generate a repulsive force, preventing a singularity and triggering a bounce instead. Not a collapse into nothingness, but a rebirth. If that's what happened, then the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything. It was the continuation of something else. This idea even offers a possible explanation for cosmic anisotropy, the suggestion that the universe might have a preferred direction or axis. Observations of large-scale structures and galaxy clusters show alignments that shouldn't exist in a perfectly isotropic universe. A universe born inside a black hole might inherit a subtle spin, an imprint from its origin. But before we declare reality fundamentally rewritten, there's a more grounded possibility. We could simply be wrong. Measurement errors, selection biases, miscalibrated assumptions, any of these could distort our interpretations. Some scientists argue that even small errors, like an incorrect estimate of our own galaxy's motion, could ripple outward and skew large-scale conclusions. So yes, caution is essential. But even with that caution, something undeniable is happening. 
the universe we're observing is stranger, faster, and more complex than the one we expected. Early galaxies are brighter, chemical evolution happened sooner, patterns appear where randomness should reign. Whether the explanation turns out to be new physics, refined measurements, or something truly radical, the message is the same. Our cosmic story is still being written. And MOMZ14, this tiny, brilliant speck of ancient light, stands as a reminder that the universe has never cared about our expectations. So what do you think? Are we seeing the cracks in our models or the fingerprints of something far deeper? Is the universe just messy or are we living inside the echo of a black hole from another reality? Drop your thoughts below. The cosmos is asking questions again, and this time, we're finally starting to listen.